everyone, and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Batman Arkham Asylum on Steam. This is the first entry into the Arkham series of Batman games, and this is a fantastic franchise I really wanted to take a look at for the longest time now. It's a series I've been wanting to get into and just play through on, well, just play through fully. And yeah, like I said, I'm playing the Steam version of this game, so this is being played on the PC, so uh... Yeah, there's that. Now, I'm going to say one thing, but this game is a very chatty game, so I'm going to do my best to not talk during the cutscenes. But in the instances where it's impossible for me to be quiet, there are subtitles available for you guys, and uh, yeah, there's that. But yeah, we've got a very long intro sequence here to start off with, so uh, yeah. Yeah. That's Warden Shop to you. Bowles! Yo, Frank, hey, how's the wife and kids? You miss me? Shut it, clown! <gasps> A lot of people here really want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't mind walking. <laughs> Not so tight, boys. You'll crease the suit. <laughs> Get that filthy degenerate out of here. Warden, something's not right. I'm going with him. So there we go. Uh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have started with the game, and this is a very long walking sequence. It might as well be a very glorified cutscene, because all we can really do by here is simply just walk forward while listening to the dialogue. That's all these characters are talking. But I do like this little intro sequence. It does add a lot of character, you know. It does show off the Joker's character and basically the world that we're going to be progressing through throughout the course of the game. And of course, this does take place its own unique little continuity in the Batman universe, you know. It's kind of like how um, Marvel has, like, the cinematic animated universes and DC have their own cinematic and animated universe. This is a this is its own Arkham universe, if you will, so it's kind of neat. But, honestly, this is one of those games I find, I find quite weird, because when I first got the game way back when it first released, when I first played on the Xbox, for the longest time, I couldn't get into the game. Like, loads of people were going on about how this was being the best Batman game in years, and... I just couldn't get into it for some reason. Every time I tried to play it, it just... didn't hook me. But after the past couple of years now, I started to replay through the game again, having the Steam version, and uh, I don't know, it just... it sort of clicked with me this time, and I don't know why. Did you sneak in with your bats? Come on, tell me, tell me. Batarangs? Bat claws? Ooh, bat smacks. Scan the screen on Joker. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, Mark Hamill returning as Joker in this game, and Mark Hamill is... I always consider him the definitive Joker voice. You know, he's like the... 
he's the person I think of whenever I think of the Joker's voice actor, you know. Kind of like how um, Heath Ledger has become the sort of Joker I think of when I think about the movie Jokers, so... But anyway, we're going to be seeing a lot of these guards and characters that we can see right now throughout the course of the game later down the line. And this is mainly a Metroidvania sort of type of deal, so... As time goes on, we're going to have this huge map open us up to us, and we'll only really be limited on where we can go by the gadgets we have at the time, or the plot, so... Yeah, that's kind of a thing I like. And I normally don't like Metroidvanias, as I've stated plenty of times on my channel, but... That's usually regarded as 2D Metroidvanias, just because I can never get a clear sense of where I'm meant to go. That's not an issue with this particular one. I'm, I always know exactly, ah, oh, I'm meant to go right by here, because the game is, does a perfect job of showing off. Okay, you can go here for thingies, you can go here to uh, get plot progression and whatnot, you know? Whatever, just be quick! Only following procedure. Well, the patient seems to be in satisfactory condition. Looks like he suffered minor lacerations, probably in the last two hours. There seems to be... <laughs> Need to take my temperature? I'd be happy to drop my pants. He's all yours. Get him out of here. He's good. Get the door open. <laughs> I love uh, the Joker in this game, he's really humorous, but the Joker's always been sort of humorous. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna try and not talk over too much of the cutscenes, but due to how chatty this game is, it's an inevitability, so I'm gonna be a bit more casual in terms of the commentary over this one, ladies and gentlemen. Can you smell the excitement in the air? No? Hmm. Must have been one of the guards, then. Croco boy! Is that you? Wow, Croc's got a bit of a... He's huge! <laughs> He's freaking huge! Jesus Christ! Keep your weapons trained on it, at all times! What's it doing? I've got your scent, Batman. I will hunt you down. Get that animal under control. A toy collar won't stop me from killing you, Batman. And rip you apart. Eat your bones. That reminds me. I really need to get me some okay, new Okay, move up. <laughs> well, Croc seems, uh... Seems like a cheery fellow. Granted, most of the characters in this game are rather cheery in certain ways. I don't know, one thing I love about Batman as a whole is the, the villain's like the main star of the show really with Batman. Wee! Great night for a party! Not where you're going. <laughs> the night is young, Bats. I still have a trick or two up my sleeve. I mean, don't you think it's a little bit funny how a fire at Blackgate caused hundreds of my crew to be moved here? <laughs> I thought I told you to stay quiet. Oh, Frankie, you really should learn to keep that fat mouth of yours shut. It'll get you into trouble. Tell me something. You've never let me catch you this easily. What are you really after? Well, nothing much. Hundreds dying in pain and fear. All their meaningless lives brought to a horrifying conclusion. All thanks to you and a book of matches. Was that the answer you wanted? All patients should avoid contact with prisoners from Blackgate Prison Facility. Their presence... <laughs> What's he doing? Stay where you are. Get a flashlight! Get a light on him! The presence of our institution is temporary. <laughs> what? Don't you trust me? Not particularly. I mean, you're the Joker and I'm Batman. How many times have we had this old song and dance of fighting each other, huh? Way too many times. That's all I gotta say. I'm a man. Ah, Christ. 
Only three? <laughs> I'll be sure to try harder next time. What say we aim for a hundred? Long night, Jim. <laughs> Joker invades City Hall and holds the mayor hostage, leaving it to me to juggle SWAT teams, the media, and you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a night. Hopefully the last one we'll ever have with him. Yeah, right. Hold it there. Sorry, Batman. Arkham staff only. I assure you, if anyone's qualified, it's... Uh, listen, I appreciate the assistance, but he'll unsettle the more violent inmates. <laughs> I think he's talking about you, Bats. Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome here. Gotta say, it's good to be back. <laughs> you okay? He surrendered almost without a fight. I don't like it. At least he's back where he belongs. Get up! Now! <laughs> Joker's loose. Alert the warden. Hurry! We're losing him! <laughs> the choke's on you. Oh, you gotta be choking me. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Come on in. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Batman! I set a trap, and you sprang it gloriously! Now let's get this party started. Oh my god, gameplay? Oh, thank you, god! <laughs> So that's right ladies and gentlemen, now we actually have a gameplay sort of sequence here. And basically in order to do a main combat, I mean yeah, I'm using the Xbox controller despite playing this on the PC by the way, so that's why you'll see Xbox prompts and why I'm gonna explain with Xbox controllers because it's easier. Basically the X button is mainly to do your normal attacks and whenever you see little like spider sense icons on top of the enemy's heads, then you can press the Y button in order to counter attack. I won't be using this for the most part in the first part or two, but later down the line, it becomes required in order to be good at this game, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever you knock an enemy on the floor as well, you need to press RT and Y in order to knock them out. You don't have to do this, you can just sort of maneuver around the enemies like I'm sort of doing right now, like in a sort of tap dance, well not tap dance, ballerina style sort of combat. But um, yeah, it's something you, uh, you'll see me make use of quite a bit later down the line. And one thing that's unique about this game is the free flow system. Which, in, in order to do attacks, you need to sort of punch an enemy and sort of move between different sets of enemies at once and dodge attacks and whatnot all at the same time. And the challenge in this sort of becomes... The challenge of the battle system isn't so much the battle system itself. It's more around how to get a high combo. And as time goes on, you'll actually have to time your X button attacks in order to do more damage and knock out the enemies quicker and so on. Basically, mashing the attack button will get you nowhere in this game, ladies and gentlemen, you know? But anyway, jumping into this event that we can do so will give us the access to our first Riddler Trophy. Riddler Trophies are located throughout the entirety of the game. And you actually saw one earlier on if you looked on the... During our little introductory sequence when you were on the elevator. And I'm not going to go for all the Riddler Trophies in this game. Or at least I'm not going to show them all off. Or at least I'm not planning to. I made like montage later on, but... Throughout the course of this playthrough, I'm only going to go after Riddler trophies that are sort of in the way and I know exactly where they are, so it's easy for me to grab hold of, you know, ladies and gentlemen. But, uh, yeah, I digress. Joker got freed! Oh no! If you hold down the A button as well, you'll be able to run. And I have to say, I love the animation when you're running. It's probably just because of the cape. Like, the way the cape works, it sort of stretches and elongates as you move in, and it sort of gives a sort of motion. You know, it sort of makes things seem like they move. It makes Batman feel like he has a lot of flow to him, you know, ladies and gentlemen. It's very free-flowing movement in this game, which is one of the things I really do love about it. Of course, this is um, probably mechanically the worst out of the Arkham games, but in terms of design, it's one of my favorites. Security breach in level B4. Warning. What happened? Joker happened. You're lucky to be alive. You must have gone this way. Door's jammed. I'll try and get it open. I repeat, we need backup and pacification. Can anyone hear this? What? Can you hear me? Security I'm with Batman. Hello? Where are they? Back down there. Do you need help? No. I work better alone. Dad is free! Oh, God! He's got Mike! Dad! 
Franklin, can you hear me? If you can, help's on the way. Great, everyone's favorite nut job is loose. Uh, whoop de doo Let's go deal with him, shall we? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's up? Joker's escaped custody. He's running free in Arkham. Do you need anything? Is my dad still there? Commissioner Gordon is safe. Joker's not far ahead. I'll stay in contact. Think about what you're doing, Zaz! Thank God. It's Zaz. He's got Mike. He's strapped in the chair. Zaz has totally lost it. Wait here. You can't. He'll kill Mike if he sees anyone trying to get close. He won't see me. I see anything that looks even a little bit like a bat, and this guard dies. Do you hear me? <laughs> he said Z Zaz is totally lost. Zaz has never had it. He's always been insane in the membrane. But I love what he said, but uh, if he sees anything, it looks a little bite like a bat. So if you looked around... If you looked behind him and you saw like a shadow just looked like a bat, I, I just got this picture of him going, A LITTLE BAT! DIE! Oh right, it, it was a shadow. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, now we have to do, well, basically we have a tutorial in order to access our grapple hook abilities. Basically, you see these gargoyles by here? Throughout the entirety of this game, you're going to see hundreds and hundreds of these gargoyles, and we're going to be using them as grapple points in order to use them to take down enemies and hide from enemies and punch enemies in the face like so. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be using gargoyles everywhere and it's kind of handy. Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Oh, hiya, B-Man. Harley Quinn here. How do you like my new uniform? Pretty hot, huh? Oh, I got something to show you. One second, B-Man. ta -da! I'm now subbing for the old man. Old Sharp has never been happier. In case you ain't figured it out, today is the Joker's big homecoming and you're the guest of honor. You have one chance to surrender, Quinn. Tempting bath, but no dice. Now the inmates are running the asylum. Well, technically the Joker's goons shipped him from Blackgate, but you get the idea. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> Oracle, I'm here. Arkham Asylum just vanished off the network. He's in control of the security system. He's probably isolated it from the grid. That's not all he's done. All police feeds are reporting he's placed bombs all over Gotham. Says he'll detonate them if anyone sets foot on Arkham Island. It's being suppressed at the moment, but the story will break any time now. He's lying. It's just a diversion to keep people away. How do you know? I know him. And there we go, it's time to make sense, well, make use of the air ventilation system. This is one thing you're going to see Batman do throughout the course of the entire game. He really likes his, um, Metal Gear segments, what can I say? Cause every time I see these sort of air vent sequences, I always immediately think of Solid Snake in, uh, the first Metal Gear Solid. Because he loves going through these systems, you know, ladies and gentlemen. So, I don't know, I always just get Metal Gear vibes, so I just expect Batman to turn around. Autocon! Metal Gear! <laughs> you know, and that's the the only Batman voice I can even remotely get close to doing is uh, the Christopher Nolan movies. So I do apologize about that. But uh, you'll find that a lot of the Joker, you know, not Joker, Riddler trophies are usually pretty easy to get hold of. They're usually easy enough to find, but you'll have to use certain gadgets later online, which means we're not immediately, we won't be able to get them all immediately. You know what I'm saying? What is that stuff? Joker toxin. Listen, the room is full of poison gas. Anyone caught in there is dead. Are you gonna get in there and help them, Batman? Batman, answer me! Batman! <laughs> I just leave without answering him. Uh, I don't know. I'll try, I guess. I'm Batman! <laughs> oh, well, I digress. This isn't a simple escape attempt. Joker's been planning this. No, really. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, with that, that is it for part one. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy. This is going to be an LP I'm really looking forward to completing. So I hope you guys stick along with this one for the long run. So yeah, I'll catch you all again next time when we free the room of to Joker Toxin and uh, help the guards out. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy. Don't be sheepish. I'll catch you all then. Bye!